What's up, y'all? What's up, YouTube? So today, we're going to be making soap. And I brought, me and they went to Hobby Lobby, and we got some creative stuff. As y'all know, they has the um, t-shirt business, so she brought a couple of sweatshirts so she could practice on the certain material that she's looking for. And then I was walking around, honestly, looking for some stuff to make the candle, like the wax. Tell me, y'all, why I went in the wax section and... The wax was $17.99. I lie to you not. $17.99, y'all. So, I say, I know you lying. Somebody, somebody grandma lying. Somebody got to be lying. So, I say, babe. How much was this wax when we first started coming to Hobby Lobby and started buying in wax? They about seven, eight dollars. I was like seven ninety nine. I said, guess how much this wax is? She said, what? Well, I said seventeen ninety nine. She said, I know the fuck you lying. Somebody lying. Who paying seventeen ninety nine for a two pound bag of wax, Hobby Lobby? Y'all know y'all, y'all know y'all dead wrong. Y'all know y'all dead wrong. Indeed y'all is. Oh my God. Anywho, I got this soap, um, soap creation things by Something Fabulous from Hobby Lobby, which is, uh, a pretty good price. It was $19.99 and you get, um, the little, these little things. If I can open it. I don't know if you can see them. But they're little soaps. Well, I guess they're hearts. But it doesn't look like it. They just look like little round things. But those are hearts. And these are the sprigly things. I don't know if you can see. But those are the little sprigly things. And it just came with little different size uh, shapes of the soap. Because uh, I guess the soap is going to be clear. So, now how the heck you open this? I guess the soap is going to be clear. And it's a floral scent. I didn't know that it was floral scent. If I would have known that, I would have wanted to brought um, the scent that I brought. But... This is a star, if you can see it, little stars. But yeah, you get the idea. Let's get let's get this shit started. Oh, you know what didn't come in the thing? Let me go get it. All right, y'all, I'm back. So it didn't come with a container, which I thought it would. But it didn't, so I just grabbed a little, uh, what is this? Betty Crocker bowl. Really don't use it, so I can use that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up my soap. Now, usually I wear gloves, but it's for me. And on top of that, I'm practicing, so don't go to judging. Nothing. This is the soap. And it says makes five, six ounce bars of soap, clear fragrance, soap base blocks. Six bags of soap pieces, five soap modes. But I'm only using one because I'm practicing at night. So once I get this practicing, that way I can be able to do soaps. And yeah, y'all stay tuned for that uh that lit launch all right so what we're gonna grab is um, so we're gonna grab 
one of these knives. And then we're going to cut the soap in pieces. And then say do little cubes so that um, it can be able to uh, melt in the microwave. Now, remind you, this is a, um, this is a melt and pour base. And then I'm just going to put them in here. This is my first time making soap for those of you who are watching. Again, this soap is for me, not a customer. I am practicing. All right. So what we're going to do is grab our queen of everything. Cheers. With the wine in it. We're going to take a sip. And then I cut them up in pieces. If you can see. And I'm going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. So, y'all know, I work at Walgreens, so y'all know how <clears throat> after every holiday, everything goes on sale. So, we sold out all of our Valentine's Day stuff, right? And my wife is a big fan of Beauty and the Beast. And y'all, I found this cup. How fucking beautiful is that and on the back i don't know if you can see it but it says enchanted beauty and bell but i just thought that was the cutest little thing all right y'all so our microwave is um beeping what we're gonna do is we are going to I was looking for some plastic spoons because I don't want to use uh, none of my spoons. I'll use it. What you call it? I don't want to use none of my spoons. So, what we're going to do is I just grab a plastic uh, a plastic knife. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to stir, stir, stir and keep stirring. And also it also says um so be really careful um, when you're heating up the soap. Uh, make sure when you're heating up the soap, you don't overcook your soap and burn it. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's sticky like that, but we're gonna, we're gonna open these, these things. I don't know which one is these. Oh, these look like little charms. I don't know what those are. They, they look like little stars. But what we're going to do is we're going we gonna to go ahead and... Oh, my dog is outside, y'all. I forgot my dog was outside. Let me go get them. All right, y'all. I'm back. So... What we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of little of these pieces in there, uh, like so. So, I'm going to just do two pieces each. And, yeah. And I'm going to turn them, turn them up. Making sure they stand. That way it can give it a, like a 3D look or something like that. I don't know. Y'all, um... Y'all comment down below what y'all think, um, how I should have made this. So, let's 
So we're gonna add in the pinkiness. Now remind y'all, I'm only gonna do two each. And yeah, the little sprinkly things. These little things are so fragile, but you know it's it's also soaked as well. So, and then we're gonna take these. Oh, that's too much. I was trying to get some green. It's already green, so I'm lying up in there. So we're just gonna sprinkle these around, and yeah, gonna lay those down like that. And we're just going to spread it out. I don't know if you can see. But I have my phone on the charger. Let's take this phone off the charger. And we're going to set it like that. And it should look something like that. But spread it out. So we're going to spread them out. I want some of those little um, line things. Cause them little line things are cute. The little sprinkly lines. Alright. And so I got one more bag to open. Ooh, that one already came out. Okay. So I don't know what those are. I don't know. They look like stars though. I think all of them are stars except except for the pink one. I think the pink one is um I think the pink one is a heart or whatever. All right, so. Damn. All right. right. We're going to put our soap in the microwave. All right, guys. So what we did was. Put our soap back in the microwave for another 30 seconds and it is fully melted move goofy it is fully melted and so we're just going to pour this in the soap mold like so and you get a paper towel and so ooh, it's still a little hot I don't want to melt the mold though. It doesn't give an instruction on what temperature to to um do a pour. Let me see if it says anything. Because it might did say something. I just probably didn't pay attention to it. Um, no, it says microwave the chunks in 30 seconds burst until the desired amount is fully melted. Be careful not to boil or overheat the melting soap as this will call to be very hot and could melt the soaping mold, soap making mold. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to continue to stir so that it can, um, do a little more cooling down a little more cooling down and y'all I had left out one more bag because it came with one more bag of the little soap pieces and I just added them in there um, off camera so that would be the third one that I'm adding in there So, I don't know if you can see it, but it should look like that. And it smells really, really good because it's floral scented. And yeah, I want to do the pour, but it seems, it seems really hot. It seems like it's way too hot to pour into the mold. Uh-oh. Let's see. My thing is, I don't want it to, um, 
I don't want it to re-harden in the thing. So, yeah. Oh, Goofy, are you okay? <laughs> Goofy and Nola was playing. <laughs> and he did a uh, three six. 360 turn on the couch and as y'all can hear rain loves to play with them but she just don't like them all in her face kissing her and everything so it's like bro back up <laughs> rain don't like the kisses unless the kisses is coming from the moms alright y'all I think I'm gonna pour pour it Mm, I don't know. It is really hot though. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. It's not that it's not that hot anymore. Not that like not like scorching hot to touch. Alright, so here we go. And yeah, uh, I think it was supposed to been like a uh, like a half and half pour. So I don't know. But yeah, we did it. So this will be. That will be the soap. So, I think it said give it about an hour for it to cure. So, we can give it about an hour. I would pour the rest of this in there, but I don't want it to overflow. Yeah, see, that's going to overflow. Or maybe not. Oh, no. It did it. Okay. So, that's a full bar. okay guys so yeah that's a full bar and yeah i thought it was going to overflow but it, it's not it just looked like it's going to overflow but it's not and as you can see it's already starting to cure so i'm going to pour some hot water in this So if you guys want to try, if you guys want to do a melt and pour, go to Hobby Lobby and try it out first before you do anything because buying all the materials and stuff and not knowing what you're doing is just not, it's just a waste of money. I had automatically jumped into uh, the candle business because I had seen how cute it was to make candles and in reality it's a lot.
So, just to make sure you guys do your research and um, watch a lot of videos and stuff like that. Make sure you learn all the temperatures and stuff like that. If you're getting into either candles or making soap and stuff like that. But yeah, um, alright, so I washed out my mold free, soap free. Now I'm going to wash my hands because I have all the soap on my hands. And then I'm going to clean my mess up. And we're going to wait for the soap to cure. And then we will demold and wrap it. So, right now we're just waiting for it to cure and we will be back. 